Representative Ibarra, the Washington State House of Representatives recently voted on all three of the state's spending plans, the operating, transportation, and capital budgets. Before we talk about the transportation and capital budgets, can you share why you were a no vote on the operating budget? The reason I voted no on the on the operation budget is because it's unsustainable. Uh, right now, just a couple of days ago, we voted on a on a bill that's going to increase spending of $1.8 billion. They don't know where the taxes are gonna come from to pay for that um, bill over the next 20 years. So where's it gonna come from? They had some funds that are coming from the feds to pay for this year's stuff. But afterwards, we have to come up with a billion dollars worth of monies. Where does that money come from? It has to come from the taxpayers. This budget did not have any sustainability for the future years. It's good for this year, Maybe good for next year, but after that, we have to come up with dollars. What are some of the highlights from the capital budget proposal? Well, we had a lot of good highlights in my in my district. We had some of the things that we talked about, or some of the capital projects that we have. Are one is to help the Fredo Public Library. Uh, they have some uh, roof repair they have to do, as well as the Fredo Community Center, which has been there for years and years and needs a lot of repair. We also have $1.5 million going to the Fish Food Bank, which services all of the food for low-income folks in Kittitas County. They need a new building, and we were able to support that. And so that's coming their way if, if all the bills pass through. Those are just a few of the many. Uh, we have a lot of uh, half a million dollars going to the, uh, the Chamber of Moses Lake. Uh, we have some infrastructure work over in Mattawa um, to do some of their wastewater systems that they need uh, today, plus the medical one efforts that are needed at Bicycle Pass and Blue Pass. Um, we're gonna build a new, some new base for the medical one uh, efforts that are done with all the different accidents that happen on Blue Oak and Tacoma Pass. Those are the folks that service those things. So kind of, boy, just tons of money, like $900,000 to those efforts, uh, plus others. Can you share some highlights from the transportation budget? The transportation budget was passed through the House. Um, there's $10.9 billion in the transportation fund. And what that fund does, it uh, maintains road maintenance, construction, and repair, public transit, and other related investments in, in my district and across the state. Um, we have a couple roads, one road in particular, 243, which is a road that's used by by many in the area, which is the Vantage Bridge, which is right off by 90. And you go all the way down to, if you want to go to the Tri-Cities, you have to go to the Vernita Bridge. And so you go from Vantage to Vernita and that road needs uh, lots of paving to be done, a lot of repairs, lots more people are using it. And so they're asking for that to be repaired as soon as possible. So we have some funding for that if, if uh, the budgets go through the way we hope they do. What happens with these proposals now, the operating transportation and capital budgets? Well, the leaders of the House, the Senate and uh, the governor's office get together. And when I say leaders, the majority party, they get together. They're the ones that negotiate what the final budgets will be. Uh, the Republican or the minority party has little say in what the final outcome of those budgets will be. Um, so that's the, the dilemma we run into since we don't have we're not the majority. We don't get a say in the final budgets. We put our, our two cents in, but that's sometimes that's what we get out of the whole budget because we're not in charge of a budget. We're not in charge of the negotiations with the final negotiations of the budgets. We just have to wait and see what the final outcome is. Uh, we've done our best to put our inputs in and fought for what we think is most important, but it's not going to be up to us. It's up to the majority party that does that final negotiation. Mm -hmm.